Hey yo! What is up guys? TBG here. As you can tell by the title of the Ross Clark video, I am going to be showing you guys my sneaker collection. The last one I did was probably 2018 August, which was a very long time ago, where I'm gonna keep it a buck. My sneaker collection has gone way up and it's got a little bit more fire. I ain't even go count with you, mate. So the first shoe I'm going to show you guys is what I like to call the Supreme Nike Air Forces. Um, I actually don't know the name of this specific colorway. Uh, I'll show you a little close up here. I fuck with this shoe heavy. I got it like, I want to say like three years ago. Um, sometime around 2017. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I bought these because they just look like something Supreme would make. I'm gonna keep it 1,000. I'm back in the days when I was a hype beast. But even to this day, these are a fire summer shoe. I fuck with these shoes. They're a little bit dirty. Little uh, little disclaimer. All of my shoes haven't been cleaned in a while. I've been slacking. I'm gonna keep it a buck. The second shoe I've got, black and white Air Force. It was part of the NBA pack um, in like 2017 and again. So these are really old shoes actually. Uh -uh. See, these I've been through the trenches fam I wear these now if I'm making a quick trip like to a shop or something Just jumping a whip, driving these I still wear these like to college and shit Car, I think these are just a fire shoe Even if it's a little bit beat up, it don't look too bad Nah, the shit looks bad This is my second shoe in my collection Yeah baby The third shoe in my collection I like to call these the Timberland Air Forces These are just a fire winter shoe Obviously don't wear them if the weather is a mad ting Because these are obviously suede It rains on it Snows on it Ting might get fucked The fourth shoe in my collection Is the classic G Fazos The all white forces Bruh Nah, I'm disrespecting the set, bro. I can't lie. They are mad dusty. You know, I wore these to a club one time. Don't know what I was thinking. Luckily, they don't look too bad. I feel like if you're a sneakerhead, or even if you're not, you got to have a pair of G Fazos in your collection. All white. Perfect, perfect, perfect all year round shoe. My fifth shoe in my collection is something that isn't Nike or Adidas. It's actually a pair of Chucks. My brethren Jamal corns the fuck out of me for having these. I took inspiration for people like Chris Brown, uh, Trey Richards. I feel like if you got these with the right fit, these can go crazy. The first time I wore these, I didn't wear them with the, with the, the right fit at all. I now have some cargo pants. These go crazy with cargo pants. I just need to get like plain hoodies and tees that, I, that would go perfect with these. But this shoe to me is a classic. Um, if you wear these correctly, bro, your fit's looking insane. I have the Vapor Max TNs, my sixth pair in my collection. Um, I feel like these are just cold. They'll go with tracksuits, shorts. I wouldn't wear these with jeans though. That's one thing I wouldn't wear them with is jeans. I feel like you look like a dickhead if you wear these with jeans. Let me keep it 1000. Hey, look, you can see the reflection in that. Bear with me. Couple, next couple of videos, hopefully I get it all sorted out. But yeah, I feel like these are just a cold shoe. I feel like every man needs these in his collection. Fam, you can even do drillings in these. You can just go, you know, for a little jog. I wore these in the gym a couple of times and I got no complaints. They do their job. But yeah, Vapor Max TN's cold, cold shoe. My seventh shoe in this collection is a triple black 97s. Um, I mean, there's a reoccurring theme. I do like the all black shoes. These are just clean. I wear these whenever I need to go out of the yard. These are my go-to shoe. You can see they're a little bit creased up, a bit fucked up at the moment. I didn't even realize that, by the way. Blood fine. Let, let's go to the Adidas side of things. So my eighth pair in this collection is the Zebra Yeezy 350s. Um, and you can tell these have kind of yellowed a lot, took a bit of a beating. But yeah, these are a clean shoe. I don't really wear these anymore because these are a size 12. Um, and I am a size 12, UK size 12 in any other shoe But at the time I didn't know that you needed to go a half size up in the 350s So I don't wear these anymore um, I find these mad uncomfortable My ninth pair in this collection is the cream white Yeezy 350s I got these in the crazy restock when it was like a million pairs or something like that These are a shoe I think everyone must have in their collection A uh, perfect summer shoe Luckily I ain't had them too dirty I think I I think I've taken pretty good care of these. I don't really wear Adidas a lot. I'm a strictly Nike boy. So I gotta start wearing these a little bit more. I can't even lie. My 10th pair in this collection 
are the Yeezy 500 Utility Blacks. So when I bought these, I kind of took a gamble on them because I didn't know if I was going to like the shoe. Um, I saw these on feet and I thought, yo, these are crazy. But when I got them in hand, and my first initial reaction was like, yo, these shits are fucking ugly. But when I bang them on my feet and when I have outfits on and, and pictures, these are just crazy. But again, I don't wear any of my Adidas crepes. So I really, really, really need to wear these a lot more. Now let's go to my favorite shoe brand. So my 11th pair of the shoe collection is the Jordan 1. I think these are called the New Loves. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think these are called the, the New Loves. Um, these are the only pair of mids I have in my collection. I complete. I hate mids. I absolutely hate mids. But these are just cold. These are insanely cold. It's like brighter than a bitch. Fam. I don't wear these as often because I think yellow is just a is a tough color to wear in general. But with an all black outfit and a little dash of yellow, bro. <laughs> I ain't even. Damn, man. My my twelfth pair in this collection are the Jordan 13s. I like to call these the red bottoms. I saw these and I thought these are a really clean shoe, um, especially with the red bottoms. I think these are the reason why I bought the shoe. So the 12th pair in my collection, I think these are the 12th. Actually, I forgot what number I'm on. I want to say the 12th. I might have fucked up the whole numbers, but 12th pair in this collection, I like to call these the Jordan 10 Cool Greys. No idea if these are the Cool Greys. I just like to call them the Cool Greys because they're all grey. All grey, suede, Elvis Presley on his bitch with a mole eye colored, no rainbow ting, fuck that. So we're now going to my 13th pair of, of my collection. Um, these are a recent, recent pickup in December just gone. Jordan 1 Bloodlines. I don't know how people were sleeping on this shoe. The leather on this bitch is insane fam. The leather is actually immense. I love the red outlining throughout the design of the shoe, the toe box, the side panel. We're now going to one of my favorite shoes of all time. Uh, my 14th shoe in my collection, the Jordan 11 Concords 2018 release. An insane shoe. Um, <laughs> bro, there's not much I can say about them really. They're a little bit yellow now. I, I have worn these quite a lot. Please comment down below if you guys have this problem. My right Jordan 11, like bro, it sounds like I'm SpongeBob when I walk. It squeaks so bad. But this is such a classic shoe. I, probably, I'm not gonna cap. These are probably my favorite shoe in my collection. I cannot lie. Now in my 15th pair in my collection. These are my only fours in the collection. And I really wish I did cop the black hat for wars. I took such an L on them. The Jordan 4 breads, or people call them the black cements, which is crazy to me, maybe because of the gray color here. But these are the Jordan 4 breads with the Nike Air on the, on the, on the, on the bum. You get me? On the little big batty. You understand? Uh, you can wear these with anything. You can wear these with ball shorts. You can wear these with um, jeans, cargoes, tracksuits. This is such a versatile shoe. I went through a phase before all this corona thing happened where I was literally just wearing these. Um, and I have a sneaker shield in them. So the, the creasing in this is literally non-existent. Most recent pickup, um, just before Christmas. And this is the Jordan 11 Breads. Probably one of the most iconic and legendary shoes in the whole Jordan brand. What a shoe, fam. Like, actually insane crap. I've worn these probably about three times. I've worn them once to my brethren's yard and he has this dog called Kush. When I tell you, yeah, that dog is a fucking madman. I wore these once when I was at his yard. Never again, fam, never again. I got a couple more shoes in the collection. I got a, a Gucci pair. I got some ultra boots that are really old that I wear to the gym and that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's, it's a bit different. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I just wanted to show you guys the progression of my sneaker collection. Make sure you guys go follow me on all my social medias down below so you man can stay connected with me. I can stay connected to you, man. Make sure you like, comment, favorite, and Ross Clark subscribe. The sexiest YouTubers out, TBG. <laughs> the fuck am I? I fucked up the whole thing because I was chatting shit, fam. <laughs> fuck it, I can't end it like that.